Welcome riding buddies. Today, two of the Sunshine State Motocross Series, round four here at Coolum. A little bit of rain overnight has made the track absolutely mint. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Kick back and we'll see what happens on day two. Junior Lights four stroke, once again for this round was a massive field, almost 40 bikes. Third place, Liam Owens. Second place, Jed Allsop. And first place, Jake Cannon. So Ronan, this is round four of the Sunny States. I know you miss Conondale, but uh, how awesome has today been? Oh, beautiful track this morning and qualifying, and then throughout the day got really rough. Yes, it's getting pretty rough out there now. Like you finished your racing for the day, and it's chopped, eh? Yeah. No. Um, what do you think of the sand? Do you like the sand? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of sand, but pretty thick sand. Yeah. Yeah. So you would be probably more looking forward to get to Echo Valley for the next round on the hard pack at uh, yeah. down at Toowoomba. Yeah. The, the real hard stuff, bit of clay. Yeah, holds up a bit easier, right? Eh? Um, so we've got Toowoomba in a few weeks' time. Then we've got uh, Gimpy a little bit after that. Have you ridden Gimpy before? Uh, I've ridden there as like a practice day, but I've never ridden there in a sunset. Yeah, not many people have actually raced there because they don't hold many events. So it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Yeah, they like combine two tracks to make it one. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you. The MX2 Pros was an absolutely awesome race to watch. Third place, Isaac Ferguson. Second place, Reese Budd. And first place on the Screaming Banshee, Todd Waters. Hey Jesse Dobson, we've just finished day two here for the MX2 Pros for you. How'd it go? Uh, bit of a rough day for me. Uh, you know, we've been working really hard during the week, and um, I'm actually, you know, I think it's it's wearing on me a little bit today. So uh, yeah, I laid on the ground in the first one, and uh, I was just struggling with starts. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go back and you know look at my program and uh, try and really rest and recover next time we go on racing and um, yeah but you know today is just good practice for us so it's a training day for us and uh, I always learn a lot when we get out here and get some racing and yeah, with you guys too like you're saying it's a training day but also too this is a good event for you to come out and see where you are with the other guys isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's really good. You know, um, Todd jumps back on the two-stroke and gets the race to MX2 class, and uh, you know he's a national champion in the MX1 class. So to get to race the likes of him and uh, you know the other fast boys that turn up, and yeah, you know, there's even some MX3 guys, some younger kids that are coming through. They're really some of those guys throttle. are fast. Yeah, they're really twisting the throttle, and uh, they can get in your way for a couple laps. So it's it's good practice, and I enjoy battling with everyone. So it's uh, yeah, it, it's always good getting out here. Yeah, and. How was that track? It was looking, it was looking pretty gnarly. Yeah, it uh, it got really tough. It's probably the roughest I've seen Corn in a long time. So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, that again. It's it's good fitness training for us, and um, you know, it's it's brutal out there. And I suppose you're all <coughs> pumped and keen for next weekend, round three of the Pro MX. Yep, yeah, I can't wait to get down to Albury. Um, I've actually never been there, so a new track for me. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I always like a new track, and uh, I've heard some. I've heard that they've had some nationals there in the past, and um, yeah, it was. It, it gets a little bit. It's a little bit hard pack, and get some ruts and stuff like that. A little bit technical. So um, yeah, I, I like that kind of stuff, and yeah, hopefully we can get out there and try and get after a win. Cool. Thanks, Jesse. No worries. Thanks, Mark. The MX2 experts, Zane Doral in third spot, one point behind Kai Boney. In second spot, and then Aiden Gordon in first. Local Toowoomba legend OJ Maguire here at Coolum for round four in the sand. It's been a tough day. It has been a tough day. I think consistency's been key, especially for me. Um, definitely not a sand rider by any means. So you're used to riding the bitch when we have an echo. Yeah, hard pack for life. I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm missing that red clay today for sure. It's, uh, it's been a great day though. It has, yeah. The weather's held out for us. Uh, I think they had some rain on the Saturday, so um, 
that rain we did get, it's really added to the track. It's you know stayed consistent and formed up really good today. Yeah, it's it's the rain we had has been absolutely brilliant on the track. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean as an event organizer, you couldn't ask for any better for the track. Yeah, especially in the sand. Uh, so next round we're at your home track at Echo. You'd be pumped. I always have my worst rounds at home. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just um, maybe I just you know. You get to wear yourself wound up too much. Yeah, I get in my head. I expect too much, I think. So um, I know same thing come in. No, um, yeah, no. Put anything on my head, you know. Yep. Just go out and ride it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that seems to be key. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, AJ. Right, thanks. Bro. It was another big class and tight racing with the MX2 Clubman. Third place, Kai Hendrickson. Only one point ahead in second spot was Jet Hollyhead. And first place, Dylan Vivian. Okay, so I've caught up with young Ned here from out of Roma. Mate, the track this weekend's been absolutely brutal, hasn't it? Yeah, very brutal. Very hard to navigate. Yeah, the sand really chops up. Bit yeah. different what you're used to. Yeah, not many bumps and sand out there in Roma. So. <laughs> you're lucky to find any sand yeah. at all out that way. Um, also, to rain. The, the rain has been absolutely awesome for the track. Like you didn't get to ride in the rain yesterday, yep. but today, what rain they got yesterday set the track up for today. Yeah, yeah it was definitely very moist. The like dust, very good. Yeah, it held together quite well. Yeah. For sand, it held together quite well. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, we had to do a few repairs as the, as the day went on, but it was all good. So, next round at Toowoomba, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah, I'll see if I get there. I think I'm planning to go away to Alice Springs in June, so a bit close to pink season, so I might see how I get, go getting there or whatever. Yeah. So, Fink's getting priority over yeah. Sunny States. First time, so definitely a bucket list thing. Yeah, it's one of those races that... They reckon you've got to do it once. I don't. I don't want to do it, but they reckon you've got to do it once, and this is going to be your first time. Yeah, yeah, real good experience. I went up there last year to watch. Wicked. So go give them a crack. See how we go. Best of luck, I think. Thank I'll you. We'll catch you next time. Another strong field of screaming one two fives took to the coolant track for the Junior Lights two stroke. In third place, William Wadwell. Second place, Liam Owens. And Jake Cannon stamping his authority on this series for first place. Okay, I've caught up with young Reese here. Mate, how has the weekend been for you? Uh, it's been pretty good. The track's pretty rough out here, like, like the last race, it was crazy. It's chopped, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, I could have probably pulled whole shot on a couple of races, like could have done a bit better, but just sort of didn't have it like my head straight and I reckon I could have done way better, but just wasn't my day really. Yeah. But, yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't flow. No, not really. I sort of um, hoping like I'm glad I got second but I was sort of pushing for that first, but first like he's good like he's a good rider, like most kids out here, like they're pretty good. There's a lot of fast riders here, not just juniors but seniors as well. Yeah, but as we like you can probably hear now they're just crazy, like just all of them out here, just really loud, like they like Todd Waters, I know Todd Waters and um Dean Ferris, they've just been battling all day. It's pretty good. Well their last race is on right now yep. and they're on equal points. So this is it's like a national out here. Yeah, so I guess it's like sort of 50-50, whoever gets like whoever gets this one's gonna get it. That's like, what it's gonna come down to. Yeah, that's what I've been like. Most of most of my race days have been like that. Like tied with second and third, and then just have to push for it. Like it just keeps keeps you on your toes, and you're, yeah, it's pretty pretty gnarly out here. But it's good sport. Like I love it. Um, so you're pumped and keen to come to my track at Toowoomba and Echo Valley. Oh yeah, for sure. My favourite track, like it's be like beautiful out there, like the dirt and everything jumps. So it's my favourite. Complete opposite to this. Oh, way opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They should definitely change it. Like sort of out here, it's a bit crazy. Like I can make a prep a couple of bits on like probably like second race. Just got really chopped. Yeah. It's pretty insane. That's it. Okay, thanks heaps.
The MX-1 Pro and the MX-1 Experts was a combined class. In the MX-1 Pro, this was an absolutely mesmerizing race. Third place, Kurt Gibbs. Second place, Todd Waters. First place, Dean Ferris. The MX-1 Experts, third place, Matthew Kennedy. Second place, Thomas Kruger. First place, Cody Saunderson. Okay, so I've caught up with Cody, MX1 Pros, mate. How full on's that been? Oh, the competition's been crazy. Um, a lot of the national level guys have come out today. Uh, that makes it super tough for us state level guys to race, but it's really good for the sport. Yeah, it's been awesome, like, uh, watching Todd and Dean just going for it. Right. And Gibbs is just there as well, and, and Walker's off the back. It, to be perfectly honest, it must get pretty scary for you guys oh, when yeah. they're coming past because they're going at a great rate of knots. Yeah, when you're getting lapped, it's, uh, you want to get out of the way pretty quick because you don't want to be that guy getting in the way. Yeah, it's pretty full on, eh? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the track, it has got tough. The, the younger the younger divisions are saying how tough the track is. From a pro's perspective, how tough is it? Oh, it's so tough. It's probably the toughest film I've ever ridden, really. Um, yeah, I've never really seen it this rough before. Yeah, it's been pretty full on. So, next round, Echo Valley, Toowoomba, go from sand, go from a beach to the mountains in the hard packed red clay. What do you reckon? Probably pretty nice, actually. It won't be as brutal. <laughs> I don't know, Echo Valley gets some yeah. deep, big ruts and big yeah, bumps. That's good though, that's always good. Yeah, and the hills just make it a lot more fun. Yeah, though. they get rough, they get real bumpy on the hills. So. Yeah, and big ruts in them and yeah. stuff, so you've got to really watch yourself. Definitely. Um, yeah, so, well, thanks for everything. Yeah. And we'll catch you at Twilka. Awesome, thank you very much. No worries, thanks, Cody. Our final race at Coolum was the MX1 Clubman. Third place, Nicholas Bellis. Second place, Ashton Hankin and first place Joshua Maloney. Okay, so Scott, we're at the complete end of the day. You've once again got the final moto for the for the weekend. How's it been? Uh, yeah, tough. It's always tough when we come here. Um, you know, the, the difference between each moto from first to second to third is just night and day. So um, it, it's gotten really rough, roughest it's ever been. I've been here for many years and uh, this is the roughest it's ever been. So That's the thing. Um, I spent a lot of the morning out on the track both days and the track, every lap is different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, completely, yep. Um, the track doesn't seem to hold lines like it used to ever since it's been changed. Um, I don't know whether that's from, from disturbing the know the track after so long um, but it's just there's no lines anywhere and it's just uh, 1.6 k's of rollers essentially. <laughs> yeah and it's, it's so loose it's so deep at the moment. It is yeah it's really loose it, it finds it hard you know it's really hard to, to trust yourself to lean over um, you know and that's that's where you, you get your speed from so yeah it's, uh, it's tough it's been tough today. Next round you're at my home track at Echo Valley in Toowoomba everyone's looking forward to it what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I look forward to it. It's uh, it, it's a it's a it's a it's an amazing track. You know, it, it reminds me of you know a track from you know the US or Europe. It's you know on the side of the hill. The dirt's great. Um, you know, there's fast sections, tight sections, big jumps. So there's a lot of separators on that track. Um, so you just really got to check yourself and ride right within your, your boundaries. So, right. Okay, thanks, Scott. All right, thanks very much. <laughs> I'm going to get some water off so dry. Cool. So we're at the end of day two of round four of the Sunshine State Motocross Series. The whole weekend has just been absolutely amazing, just like the rest of the series has been. Coolum has got really soft. We're out here at the moment. The track is so soft. It's deep. It's got big bumps. We, I reckon if a 65 went out there now, we wouldn't see him for about three months. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out day one, which was on the other day. Go back through my library, check out the rest of the series if you haven't seen the rest of the series as well, and we will catch you next time.